Alright, a bright afternoon out there today. This time of the year when we have a lot of sunshine and hardly any clouds, it can be kind of blinding. The sun is low in the sky here at this time of the year, so that means uh, when we have plenty of sunshine, especially near sunset, it can be just downright blinding if you're driving to the uh, west. That sunshine today helped temperatures get a little above average. We got up to 53 today, but that is much closer to average than most of the previous days. And of course, November so far has been quite warm compared to the average through the first dozen days of the month. 8.7 degrees warmer than the average. This is Eastwood Mall, of course, on our Ainsley Heating and Cooling Weather Camera in Niles. The sky is clear this evening. It was not clear a year ago today, though. I wanted to take us back one year to actually, for a lot of places, this was kind of the biggest snow event we had all of last winter. This was a lake effect event, but it didn't just stay in Trumbull and Mercer counties. This lake effect snow impacted parts of Mahoning and northern Columbiana as well. We had a lot of accidents on the interstates and even some thunder snow on this date last year. Of course, last winter was kind of a dud snow wise. This was one of our bigger events pretty early in the uh, season. All right, uh, skies clear this evening locally. The rain staying out to our east and we expect quiet weather overnight. A little bit colder will drop down to 34. Overnight. All right, we have a qualifier tonight in the Ducat Big Dig contest. Sue Verosko from Hubbard. Sue, you have 21 minutes to call 1 800 488 9365. When you call that number, hit option 5. All right, tomorrow is going to be a pretty uneventful day. We do have a front that'll squeeze on through tomorrow, but uh, this is not going to squeeze out any precipitation. I think showers will stay off to our north. The breeze will kick up in the afternoon, but temperatures will be pretty similar to today. The wind gusts as we get into the afternoon tomorrow could be in the teens to around 20. Nothing crazy and certainly not the kind of wind we'll have on Sunday, but still the breeze will be noticeable tomorrow up to 51 tomorrow afternoon. All right, a quiet day coming up on Saturday as we kick off the weekend with high pressure in control. I've actually got the the isobars plotted up on our uh, uh, future cast this evening. These are the lines of equal pressure and when these are squeezed tightly together, that means wind. It's going to be a very windy day Sunday. Some showers will be around as well. These wind gusts, especially in the afternoon Sunday, could top 40, maybe even approach 50 miles per hour Sunday afternoon. And the wind will still be an issue into early next week, probably not as strong on Monday, but still that'll be a cold wind early next week. Only 45 on Monday, only 39 for the high Tuesday. A couple of flurries will be a possibility. This little wintry interlude will be pretty brief, though. We're back closer to average by midweek, and I think we'll string together several warmer than average days once again at the end of next week and heading into